I have Lucky Charms. I also have Bushmills. We're going to mix these together, throw it into a little still, redistill it, and see what pops out the other side. How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, this is Still It, and we are back with another episode of Meme Spirits. Uh, I have some Lucky Charms right here, and I'll be real with you, team. I have never, ever tried Lucky Charms. This is the first time I've ever seen it in person. But my wife is American, and she absolutely swears that this is the most amazing thing to ever happen to breakfast cereal. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see about that. You know what? Let's just open this up. And like I said, because I have never tried it, I think it's probably uh, a good idea for me to do so. Oh God. Ah! That's not marshmallow. God damn it, wifey. What have you done? <laughs> Before we go any further, uh, Americans, I need to tell you right now. There is nothing Irish about this. I know we're doing this basically for St. Patrick's Day, uh, but I am kind of taking the mickey, even in doing so. This is about as Irish as Foster's is Australian. Uh, Foster's is not Australian for beer, guys. <laughs> and Irish people, I can tell you right now, you're not missing out on anything. Uh, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and assume that an Irish mother would react to this the same way that a New Zealand mother would, and that would be... Hell no, we're not buying it. And if you somehow snuck it into the house, you'd probably end up getting the, uh, the wooden spoon treatment. Just a guess. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, let's get down to business. And I mean, there's really no right way to do this, I guess. It's just, <laughs> we put some of this in here. And then I guess we put a bit of this in there. Uh, I happen to have Bushmills on hand, and I actually, you know what? Before we completely desecrate this half-decent whiskey, <laughs> that'll, oh god. <sighs> it's for the views. Actually, uh, if you haven't seen this channel before, and this is the first time you're seeing it, normally what we do around here is very serious, prim and proper. Not really, we have fun, uh, but it's all about kind of crafting something special that comes out of a still, you know, trying to make a product that's actually quite tasty and trying to do a good job of it. Uh, every now and again though, I just let my hair down and have some fun with the meme spirit stuff. So you, if you're into that, stick around and watch the other videos. Now, uh, I think what the plan is here is to get a little bit more of this in there. Because honestly, I don't know if I can bring myself to put a whole bottle in there. <laughs> and I'm going to put just a wee bit uh, of water in there as well. Now I'm not worried about the ABV, it's 40%, so sure I could just distill this as is. Um, I just want to make it a little bit more uh, liquidy, I think is the idea. A little bit of water. Man, I hate to say it, but that actually, that actually smells not horrible. <laughs> uh, now, we're set up. I mean, that was kind of the easiest thing ever, right? <laughs> We've got some waiting to do. And seeing as that uh, actually didn't taste horrible, I feel like for the research, I should probably just give it a go. <laughs> I mean, why not? I could do it with milk, but I mean, I'm not exactly a breakfast person. Marshmallows, it is hilarious that they call these things marshmallows. I guess maybe are they supposed to rehydrate with the milk? Man, I'm getting an education here. I mean, That's actually really good. <laughs> no lies, and I'm not just saying this uh, for the content. That is legitimately... <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this. Uh, Lucky Charms mixed with uh, Bushmills. You heard it here first, folks. Is actually quite palatable. All right. Mm -hmm. Breaks over, back to work. I'm going to run this until a few drops coming out, and uh, at that point, I'll assess what's going on. Now, my guess is that because this is an already distilled product, and it is, you know, it's a, it's a pretty damn good whiskey, to be honest, for the price, uh, it is going to not be that bad from the beginning. I'm going to take a little bit of 
whatever you want to call it, four shots, heads. It's probably going to be a little bit odd at the beginning. Uh, and who knows what freaking flavors. <laughs> oh, no. That was close. Uh, are going to come out of this at what point during the run. I lost one marshmallow. It was a, uh, it was a rainbow. The rainbow charm gives Lucky the power of teleportation. Wow, there you go, guys. Uh, anyway, <laughs> once again, for those of you that aren't uh, initiated into the whole distilling thing, the initial part of the run, we generally ditch and throw away. In fact, I mean, we always do it. It's just a, a case of how much you want to keep and how much you want to not keep. What makes the cut? That's uh, kind of where that saying comes from, I guess. And the heads, at the beginning of the run of the part, that has all sorts of nasty stuff in it that's going to give you hangovers uh, and headaches. And to be honest, it just doesn't taste great. But because this is a pretty quality product, most of that work's been done for us. It is a whiskey, obviously, so it has some flavor remaining, which means there's still a bunch of different stuff kicking around in there to give it that flavor. Uh, and we might get a little bit of a surge of not so nice stuff at the beginning that uh, we'll probably ditch. But I guess let's just, uh, let's just wait for those first drips, shall we? All right, a quick community update for the longtime viewers of the channel. I need to let you know that this shirt, which if you missed the last video, guys, is a collaboration between myself and Into the AM. I mean, it's a shirt literally designed for our community. It's pretty freaking cool. Uh, it is for sale, obviously. Here's the thing. Uh, you guys, you lot, yes, you, uh, bought this thing up a whole lot faster than Into the AM predicted. Good problem to have. Uh, the bad thing is that some of the sizes are getting close to running out. So if you want one now, make sure you go over to the special link. There's a link in the description down below. Click that link, it'll take you straight to this shirt. And because you're a community member, it'll give you a discount as well, which is pretty cool. Into the AM, assure me <laughs> that there's a whole lot more stock on the way. Uh, as soon as it's here, as soon as it lands, I will let you guys know. But a big thank you to all of the people uh, that are purchasing this shirt. I think it's pretty cool, and I'm glad to know that you guys think it's cool as well. Anyway, let's get back to the, uh, to the still and see where we're at, shall we? All right, so that took about 15, 20 minutes to warm up. Uh, the still is now running, obviously. I've collected a small amount of liquid down the bottom here, and the uh, flavor is starting to mellow out considerably. So I am switching over to what I am assuming is going to be my hearts, and I'll keep. Remember, there's only, you know, half a bottle of that stuff in at 40%. It's going to come out of here a whole lot higher percentage. You know, we did mix some water in and all that, but what I'm getting at is there's not going to be a lot of volume coming out of here. So I want to be on my game in terms of switching over when it tastes good. God damn it. There it is. You got a second? <laughs> Don't think less of me. <laughs> I wanted to come out and eat some. It was really good. It it's is. like disturbingly good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I can never eat it as breakfast cereal, though. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. What's wrong with you Americans? Like this. I would be more likely to eat it like that as That's breakfast the cereal. the best breakfast ever. Yeah, they're a bit chalky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like literally the consistency of chalk. Because they had to survive in that box for like six years. We had a rule. When I was a kid, if it had more than 11 grams of sugar, we weren't allowed to buy it. I can't even see sugar. 12 grams. It was over. We, it was, had to be my mom. This is slightly over? <laughs> the, oh wait, okay, it's healthy children. Go ahead and eat it. Yes. All right, so we've just, we're just starting to move. I'm gonna switch that right now, actually. Uh, just a second ago, off camera, I was tasting it, and it still tasted like that rich, wholesome, like, luxurious oatiness that comes through in the cereal. Can't believe I'm describing Lucky Charms like that. We'd call it porridge. Uh, cooked oats sort of flavor to it. It's moved past that now to a, it's like, it's a similar flavor, but it's almost sulfury. And I don't like that. I don't like it anymore. I'm gonna call that cooked. So uh, now the job becomes measuring this out, figuring out how much we've got so we know how much water to add into it uh, to prove it back down to a reasonable ABV. Hold on. So, 250 mils at, slowly does it, it's this stupid jug always spills. Unless I go insanely slow. All right, 250 mils at, 
72% ABV. And I want to take it down to 45%, which means 150 mils of water. So this is uh, Bushmills and Lucky Charms distilled together and then proofed back down to 45% ABV. Uh, and right before I taste it and tell you guys exactly how it's turned out, I need to give a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons for being the ones that uh, support me day in, day out, month in, month out. Uh, I love everything we get to do together. I, I really enjoy the feedback into the channel and the ideas and tips and tricks you guys give me. It's, it's priceless to me, so thank you so much, guys. All right. 100% this smells like the cereal yep 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 it doesn't have that uh powdered like caster sugar thing over the top what do they call it they call it uh frosted <laughs> yeah it doesn't have the frosting sort of aspects to the smell it is just the slightly more uh robust version of the the graininess yeah the uh the fruitiness from the bush mills I feel like it's still coming through. I feel like I can smell, still smell that and taste it more than I can smell it, to be fair. Interesting. I wonder if I went just a little bit, just a, just a smidge too far into the tails and we've got a little bit of that kind of sulfuriness coming through as well. Uh, to be honest, as, a, like as an actual drink, if I was going to actually sit down and drink some of this stuff, it's probably better like that because it makes it taste more like grain and less like candy cereal <laughs> you know does that make sense however if we were aiming purely to make the booze taste like this i think we should have cut it off a little bit earlier now uh, i'm starting to wonder if it would be smart to dissolve some of the charms in there to sweeten it up a little bit and the thing i'm worried about is uh do you remember the colour that, that the whiskey went in the cereal? That was nasty. We'll go with the love heart. Oh my word, I missed. All right, let me let this slip for a second and I'll come back to you again. <laughs> All right, it's dissolved and I figured I had to bring wifey in because this... Why is it so pink? Have a taste. The heart charm is magical. They're all magical. <laughs> Didn't you know that uh, the heart charm lets Lucky bring ordinary <laughs> objects to life? Like these gold pots. Oh yeah, I forgot the guy's name is Lucky. <laughs> that smells weird. It doesn't smell... You wanted it to smell like candy. Yeah, it smells weird. You wanted it to smell like frosting. But I will admit, I will admit that I did go maybe a little bit too late trying to get more grainy flavor. I was trying to make it taste like whiskey. Yeah, it's very much like porridge. Yes, that's, that's what I said. Wow, she even said porridge. I like a think good por kiwi. Porridge tastes a little bit like cardboard, so... Ah! <laughs> I'm like, is it the cardboard that I smell? <laughs> no, it's nearly not. I smell the charms. <laughs> I know, that's what I was saying. The frosting and the, the like candy floss flavor of the charms, which is why I did that. Hmm. It smells the same to me. <laughs> similar. I think it's a little bit more fruity. They're pretty close though. Mm. They're more similar on the flavor than I thought. Okay, we need another heart. How did you dissolve it in there? Like this. Oh. Yeah. There's something like these could be nothing else. These little marshmallows could be nothing else but the little marshmallows from Lucky Charms. So weird. I think it's the texture. I've never had anything that's <laughs> that texture before. <laughs> we all know this is what she really wanted. Go on. <laughs> Go have fun. <laughs> Go eat the box. I will uh, I'll say goodbye to these folks. All right. So there you have it, team. Uh candy in a box called breakfast cereal mixed with whiskey and distilled was this ridiculous yes it was <laughs> did i learn something from it i don't know to be perfectly honest with you that oat flavor is very interesting and i feel like it could be used uh, advantageously in some sort of whiskey like product i just i'll have to think on that anyway uh, if you like this video please guys give it a thumbs up if you're into actually making you know, real distilled products and not doing silly meme -y stuff like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below uh, and check out some of the other videos to get an idea of, you know, what we really do around here at Stillit. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.